everybody. So first off, thank you so much for making it to the last talk of the day. It is very hot in here. I know you must be very tired, and it's been a long day with great announcements and great events. All very, very exciting. Uh, today, uh, I am the, I'm the president of Miston Labs. My name is Kevin Boone, and I'm here with Steven. Please. Hello. Hi, everyone. Yes, we are here to talk to you about Sui Holdings Group, a digital asset treasury company. And so please, first let me set a little bit of context. If you look at what is happening to the crypto industry today, it is undeniable to say that institutional finance is changing everything about our landscape. You see this everywhere from the rise of stable coins, of course, as well as the very dramatic IPOs that you see with Circle and Bullish. And overall, you see a lot of institutional capital flowing into what used to be primarily retail. That creates extremely compelling opportunities and will forever change the landscape that you, our builders, all build in. So I think the first question for you, Stephen, is please, let's just tell the audience generally, what, what is Sui G? Yeah, hi everyone, great to be here. So um, Sui G came about through our prior relationship with Sui. Uh, I am the kind of co-founder of Caritage, which is a proprietary hedge fund. We invest in crypto and deep tech. And we had been a part of the Sui journey since the beginning, originally as venture investors in Mist and Labs, and also prolific ecosystem investors in uh, Walrus, uh, DeepBook, uh, Double Up, Shio, Sui Lend, and a number of others. So we've been really struck by the uh, unique engineering culture around this blockchain. I think in my time at Caritage, I've invested in many uh, high performance blockchains. Originally, as an early investor in things like Polkadot and Solana, through to Telegram, uh, to Sui, Mist and Labs, and also some of the new stablecoin chain narratives like uh, Plasma. And uh, prior to Caritage, I also was uh, running an artificial intelligence business for almost a decade that we sold to a New York Stock Exchange listed acquirer. So I've been around high performance engineers pretty much my whole career. And when I first met the Mist and Labs team, I was struck by the intellectual capital and the engineering capability of this team. This founding team of five founders definitely uh, looks to me something akin to like a, an open AI or a Google for Web3. A really unique engineering team that have produced something pretty sensational in the past uh, two years since Sui's been live on mainnet. Um, so as an investor, when the DAT phenomenon began at the beginning of this year, we um, looked at you know, what could be the best asset to accumulate as part of a public market strategy. And for us, we, we saw nothing better than to uh, raise capital from uh, the US capital markets to build a large you know, balance sheet that would be focused purely on acquiring SUI and then delivering you know, that liquidity back into the growth of the SUI ecosystem in many ways to build what I would say is like the SUI bank. We want to play a very significant role in the ecosystem, being able to drive DeFi liquidity uh, in the ecosystem and really make sure that we're at all times driving like the vision and the value of SUI, but in the US capital markets. Um, what, one thing that I would say is the year we are in 2025 will be remembered as like a huge unlock in the history of crypto. Wall Street is now open. Uh, it's been prohibited for many years because of previous administrations, previous SEC regimes. But the latent demand for crypto exposure from Wall Street is absolutely insane. And through Sui G, we will be a conduit to drive TradFi liquidity into the growth of the Sui network. Absolutely. You really, Stephen just really nailed exactly why Sui G is so important as a type of infrastructure for the Sui ecosystem. Because if you listen to the, the criteria that he discussed, his familiarity with the ecosystem, his vision for Sui Bank and where it will go, it answers a lot of questions around how DATs will evolve. I think you've seen in the last six months a proliferation of DATs that are kind of vanilla in their instrumentation. They raise capital, they buy the underlying token, and today that is all that they do. So Stephen, do you think that that is going to be the pattern forever? Or are we, should we expect that opcos will start to take hold and that hybrid 
instrumentation will happen? What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, that's a really great question because it gets to the heart of how we are different from the SUI Foundation. Um, for everyone's benefit, when we uh, launched SUI G, um, we actually sponsored the transaction as Caritage. Uh, we led the financing, but uh, alongside SUI. And together, both parties, Caritage and the SUI Foundation, actually locked our shares for 12 months um, to prove to the market, to prove to the SUI community and our shareholder base, this is not a trade. This is a long-term strategy to build a SUI bank. And we've done it in direct partnership with the SUI Foundation because we want to stay true to the mission statements and to the value uh, creation for the SUI network and the SUI community as a whole. I think, you know, as a management team, we are uh, very focused on driving uh, cash flow uh, in this business. This will be not just a passive kind of asset manager where we're kind of clipping a, a, you know, a small amount of yield. The whole uh, focus for uh, our management team, our board at SUI Group, is to identify uh, really exciting opportunities within the SUI ecosystem uh, in SUI DeFi that we can play like a, a fundamental role in growing those businesses with our balance sheet, but also to even look into the market for um, really interesting opportunities that may be very complementary with the SUI stack. Businesses that have millions of users, that have tens if not hundreds of millions of dollars of cash flow, bringing them into SUI. Um, the amount of excitement that's been driven off the back of the uh, SUI Google um, agentic commerce announcement in the past two weeks is really profound. You know, Wall Street is uh, listening to that announcement and they're asking me uh, as the CIO of SUI Group, what does that mean for the future of commerce? And if you think about how big e-commerce was, right? What's the TAM, the total addressable market of e-commerce? Think forward like five, 10 years. What's the TAM of agentic commerce? We haven't even seen that begin yet. And the opportunity for value creation when you have trillions of dollars of stable coins running through agentic frameworks online, that, that scale is several orders of magnitude bigger than anything we see in crypto today. And there's only one network, there's only one substrate that can coordinate that complexity, and that's SUI. That's right. It, the, the familiarity that Steven and Suiji has with the SUI ecosystem is truly the differentiator that will matter most over time. If you believe that the evolution of DATs is going to eventually evolve some kind of operating aspect, then the day-to-day -day management teams in a lot of the DATs are doomed to failure because they don't actually participate in the underlying ecosystem. They are not builders. They don't use the underlying token. To them, it is only and solely a financial instrument. But with Steven and the rest of the Sui G team, that vision is very compelling because it's a lasting one. It means that as Sui builds out the stack, as you have agentic payments, as you have other types of businesses that will flourish on Sui, Sui G Group will understand it, will amplify it, and will help educate Wall Street around the opportunities of Sui. That ability to amplify the technological strength of the Sui stack is so critically important for Sui. I think also, you know, it's often kind of forgotten because everyone here is familiar with Sui in our kind of crypto bubble. <laughs> but in Wall Street, you know, they are very interested now about the origin story of this business. This is uh, a team that was hand selected by Mark Zuckerberg to build a crypto network that would be rolled out to 3 billion users, right? That's the scale of what Facebook was building a few years ago. And if you think about what would have happened had that business not been you know, restricted by the previous administration, by the previous SEC, I think it's very likely that that company, Libra and DM, the stablecoin initiative, would have been the biggest business in the world in crypto, bigger than Tether, bigger than Coinbase. And you know, what, the, what the Wall Street investors are excited about is they think, well, hold on, is this our chance to buy into that same value creation story? This is the team that came from Facebook that was building for true internet scale. And as you saw with the Google announcement is now 
building the foundations for the unlock of a totally new industry, like the TAM, the total addressable market size of what agentic commerce could be, is right. probably in the hundreds of billions, if not trillions of dollars. And there is only one coordination layer, one substrate that will allow for that, and that's SUI. But why? Everything else in crypto, from Solana to Ethereum, it's an account-based model. With SUI Move, we have an object-oriented data model that essentially means it's fully programmable. For this new kind of unlock, this new industry to flourish, you need to handle a complexity uh, of transactions that we've never seen before, and also an increase in state that is, I say, as several orders of magnitude more than we deal with today. And SUI was designed for that exact problem, designed to coordinate extreme complexity, multi-dimensional payments, multi-dimensional commerce in Web3. Yes, we have high conviction at SUI that the future of finance is not defining what is considered DeFi and what is TradFi, but that eventually yields and users are going to just seek the best finance experience. And if you believe in an AI-driven future where every developer is not an AI developer or a non-AI developer, it is just there, then SUI is the only ending choice. We are ahead. Our technology is ahead of demand. And so we are waiting for the industry to actually catch up, to hit the limitations that they realize that they will see that you can only truly address with SUI. So today, we've talked about encrypted messaging SDK. You've heard a lot about stable coins. And the SUI stack is always building out. You know about Walrus. These are all the tools in the SUI stack that we make available to you builders to change the world. So question for you, Stephen, is what would you want to see most? What, what, and actually not just yourself, what do you think will resonate most with the investors that you talk to from Wall Street? Yeah, um, so <clears throat> I think that, again, you know, stepping outside of our bubble in crypto, right? We've seen like agent meme coins like a few months ago, and it kind of came and, came, and, came and went. The value creation that has been associated with artificial intelligence is so big. Um, and Wall Street wants to underwrite that. I previously spent almost a decade of my career in machine learning, and you know, in order for you know, uh, AI to arrive on the scene, you needed all of these kind of building blocks around. You needed kind of an M MLOps framework. You needed um, certain types of kind of pre-processing pipelines. You needed precision recall kind of curves to determine how these models would be safe. You needed it to be intercomposable with the Google on, or the Azure or the AWS stack. You needed to work on cloud rails. All of that kind of wrapper, that, that software, is what you've seen in Adeni's keynote here. SUI has built all of those kind of pillars of infrastructure. It's fully cohesive, it's fully composable, and that's what will allow something like an agentic commerce future to be created. And in terms of like, what does Wall Street want to underwrite? They want to underwrite value creation, you know, new industries, new commerce, new GDP being created on the internet, and the opportunity for SUI to be the enabler of that value creation story. Wall Street wants to underwrite that today. Like, and that's what SUI Group will do. SUI Group will bridge that demand, that appetite from you know, institutional investors, and it will pipe it into the SUI network. That's what I do at SUI Group. I bring TradFi capital, and I get it unlocked in the growth of SUI. So I think that in the next three years, we're going to see a whole new dynamism to crypto that we've never seen before, because it's unlocking, essentially, the US capital markets, which is the greatest source of liquidity in the world. We've never had that in crypto. Absolutely. And that's going to change everything. Everything is rapidly changing. You know, I reflect on the last couple of years of giving these types of talks, and there's always a hesitation. There was previous a hesitation to even talk about SWE token, to even talk about SWE as a financial instrument. And now, if you are in the infra stack at a protocol level, or if you are a builder on the protocol, you must think of your business as different businesses. And these are all different businesses that you must nurture. You must nurture what you are trying to build. And if you have a token that builds it, there is a whole separate business you need to learn around the health, the liquidity, the, the advantages that you can have with that token. There are other aspects that we worry about. You can let us worry about Wall Street. You can worry, let us worry about how are you going to create the connective tissue 
so that SWE is understood worldwide by different audiences, and that is our passion. We're almost out of time today, but this is a builder house, and so I want the builders here to remember one key thing. Mistin Labs and SWE is the protocol of never-ending obsessed innovation. You can never look at something like Mistisetti and latency. You can never look at the extensions that we make with, with encrypted messaging SDK and think that that is the end. Every couple months, there will be a new game-changing technology that will be available to you to build. What we need, what the world needs more than anything else, are you builders to be brave to see the opportunities to use this technology to solve the world's hardest problems, ideally that are of a centralized nature. That is what we are here for. That is what we want you to do with SWE. It is there for you to use. Steven, anything you want to end with? Yeah, what I would say is that you know, both SUI Group and also Caritage are investing aggressively in the SUI ecosystem. Please reach out to me if you have a great idea, a great concept, you want to get some feedback from me as to you know, what I think the market's asking for. I can speak to any builder here that wants to kind of build a, you know, a billion dollar business. We've got a lot of capital, we're willing to deploy it, and I want to meet you all. Yes, I love it. Thank you everyone for making it all the way to the end. Cheers. Cheers.